go home, make up a joke. I'm going to tell you a new joke tomorrow, okay? Good night, Adrian. Good night. So she must be, like, ultra shy. She likes him, but she's shy. She's very strange. Hey, yo, Paul, every day, every night, I pass by your sister giving me the shoulder. You know what I mean? What's wrong with her? I need a Cadillac to connect with your sister. Something wrong with my face. You know what I mean? She's a freak of love. Oh. Sometimes she gets me so crazy, I could split her head with a razor. Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome or welcome back to Keep the Commentary. I'm your girl, Dez, and today I'm going to be watching Rocky for the first time. Let's go ahead and get into it. I'm excited for this. Excited. Rocky. November 25th, 1975, Philadelphia. Y'all, this and the last Samaru, I hope I'm saying it right, Samurai, was neck and neck. At one point, both of them was tied. But then somebody voted uh, for Rocky in this one. I was like, what I'm going to do? What I'm going to do? <laughs> Fun fact, I have seen all of the creeds. Yeah. So, maybe I should have watched this before I watched Creed, right? If y'all hear something, that's my, my child that's up and he's supposed to be asleep. It's almost 11.30. He playing. Oh my goodness. They had low key, y'all. They had but look a little, little fake, but <laughs> he not supposed to do that though. That's against the rules, right? Ooh. Y'all. No, y'all, they not about to do this though. Cause that them punches didn't even look like they connected. They not finna do this. I know this is a classic, but they not finna do this. Cause first of all, they had but look super fake. And them punches clearly did not connect, y'all. But I'm going to be quiet, though. I'm going to be quiet. All right. All right. Comment below if you watch the fight that was last Saturday. I forgot their names. I didn't watch it. My husband did. But he was all riled up and stuff. Yeah, you can have this one. Yeah, you can have this one. Ooh. Why she so mad? Why you got to be all that? A young Sylvester Salone. The Italian Stallion. Fun fact. I was a boxer, y'all. You really got that. Just kidding. I wrote a one-woman show about boxing. It wasn't about boxing, but it was a boxing thing, y'all. Let me stop playing with y'all. Pay attention. Uh, yeah, my dog is right here, breathing all hard. Locker and corner man, five dollar shower and towel and seven percent tax. Come to dang. When do I fight again? Maybe he gotta pay to fight. Give me a call. The doctor should be in about twenty minutes. Billy, I've never been. Wait, I've been. A, I was about to. I was about to sit up here and lie, y'all. I have been to Philadelphia one time. Because I have family there. I went to visit my aunt. But we was there for literally like an hour or two. Where all the Philly folks sat in the house. <laughs> what a Philly. Be from Philly. Comment below. How is the Philly cheesesteaks? Okay, I'm going to stop right now. Because I'm being super lame. Comment below and let me know why the Rockies are classics. 
I always ask this though, but why is this a classic? Or what? Comment below. What's your favorite Rocky movie from the franchise? What's the best one? I love me a good old school movie, y'all. It's just I can't really call this nostalgic for me because I wasn't born yet. But it's just oh, Sylvester Stallone wrote this. Oh, okay. look at you. He don't oh. Okay. okay. Nice to know. Did he write? Did he have his? I know he was in Creed, but did he write Creed? I don't know. That is so cool that he wrote this and they're classics. Like, is this the first thing that he was in? Like, is this his uh, breakout movie role? Now I want to know the backstory of how he came up with Rocky and what made him write it and why he chose to star in his, you know, own project. Hey, your old man did pretty good tonight. Why weren't you there, huh? Mm -hmm. You should have seen me. You guys hungry? Hey, don't move a duck. You miss me today or what? Hey, go and say hi. You know, if you guys could see. Did y'all hear my uh, dog just sigh? Like, she literally right here behind me. She like, here she go, watching a movie again. Well, she probably don't know what I'm doing, but she know is lightning here and she sleeps downstairs and this is her time where she sleeps is that him Falling. Yeah, I'm kind of aggravated, you know? Oh, sorry. Please, more. I think I caught the turtle throat right out here in his paw, right? I gotta smack him on the back of the show. What do you think I'll get? Give your show shot. What do you think? You're starting with the bad jokes early, huh? Hey, yo, Viking! Yo, Viking! Oh, 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 oh. Hey, Gene, I want you to go downstairs and clean all the cat cages. They're in there. What is going on with her? Hey, so that turtle food, blockhead. Hey, crime don't say, you know that, boy, you know that. Well, that was interesting. Interesting encounter. Yo, Rock, how's your boss? Real good. Hey, Rock, you're fighting again. You're fighting again. 1976. Where you going? Comment, dang. Comment below where you were if you were born in 1976. Where, how old were you in 1976? Hey, 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 don't hit the face. Shut up. Mr. Gazzo says I should get the 200 to break your thumb. You understand? You want to dance, you got to pay the band. You understand? You want to borrow, you got to pay the man. Is Sylvester Stallone, is he from Philadelphia? He shook it. You're still $70 late. You don't have to break nothing. Here, take my coat. Gazzo don't have to know. He won't be wise to nothing. Gazzo won't be wise to nothing. Keep the coat. He only had 130, but I think he's good for the rest next week, Mr. Gazzo. That's it for today. Tomorrow, collect from Del Rio. He's late three weeks, and I don't like it. So are these people, like, dealers? To get the license number. Of what? The truck that run over your face. How rude. I mean, you didn't break this guy's thumb like I told you. Well, how do you know I didn't break? You don't think I hear things? I think if I break the guy's thumb, he gets laid off, right? He can't make. Yeah, well, don't money. figure. Let me do the figure, okay, Rock? Was that an asthma pump? From here on in, do what I tell you to do because it's bad for my reputation. You understand? <laughs> you got, you got it, Rock? So long, meatbag. I should have broke your thumb. Mm -hmm. I wonder what made him write this. They gave his locker to somebody else. Who stuff is this in my locker? Stepper stuff. It ain't your locker no more. It's in my locker for six years. Where's my gear? Where's my gear? Mickey tells me what to do. I gotta do it, right, Rock? Where is it? What's your problem? My problem is I've been talking to your man Mike. I wanna know how come I've been put out of my locker. You know what you are? What? A tomato. A tomato. Did you 
fight last night? Yeah. Did you win? Did you win? Yeah, who'd you fight? Puerto Rico. <laughs> He's a bum. Nothing special about you. You never got your nose busted. Well, leave it that way. Nice and pretty and what's left of your mind. I did real good last night. You should have seen me. You ever think about retiring? No. You think about it. Yeah. I did your locker, man. Mm. He says, you're a bum. That's so mean. He gonna show him, ain't he? What is up with this girl? She like him? It was a good game down to the spectrum. What's wrong with her? Wanna go to the basketball game? <sighs> Tough day today. She not allowed to talk to him? I had that locker for about six years. It don't bother me much. It doesn't matter. Who cares, man. What is going on with her? <laughs> don't these birds look like candy, you know? Like flying candy? Hey, flying candy? You need somebody to walk you home, you know? Does she think he a creep? All right, listen, I'm gonna go now, okay? I'm gonna go home, make up a joke. I'm gonna tell you a new joke tomorrow, okay? Good night, Adrian. Good night. So she must be like ultra shy. She likes him, but she's shy. She's very strange. Hey, yo, Paul. Every day, every night, I pass by your sister gave me the shoulder. You know what I mean? What's wrong with her? I need a Cadillac or something after your sister. There's something wrong with my face. You know what I mean? You a freak of loot. Oh. Sometimes she gets me so crazy, I can split her head with a razor. Put me in a bad mood. You're always in a bad mood. Adrian ain't sharp. Adrian is a loser. You know, tomorrow's Thanksgiving. You know that? Mm -hmm. Why don't you come over and talk to her? Sure. I'm actually, y'all, enjoying this movie. I'm really enjoying this. I used to watch movies like this when I was a kid, like The Style. You take a look at that guy. The nostalgia. I love it. Apollo Creed will duplicate the cracking of the Liberty Bell. Oh, Apollo Creed a clown? Do you have any quick advice for young boxers? Schools will make you run and smell. See, be a thinker. Be a thinker, not a stinker. <laughs> so he gonna end up fighting him, right? Ooh, wait. Ooh, it's connecting. I gotta sneeze. Hold on. Hey, try to do a yarn. You stink up the neighborhood. <laughs> Yo. Whoa. Hey, we get bad rep. You understand? You remember Marie? No. Who's she? Uh, she's a little whore to hung down the atomic bogey shop. They don't remember you. They remember the rep. They don't remember you. They remember the rep. This is literally how people from Philly. He must really be from Philly. This is how people from Philly talk. Good night, Rocky. Good night, Marie. Take care, you know? Hey, Rocky. Yo. Screw you, creepo. Yeah, why everybody so mean to Rocky? He's just trying to help people. Bicentennial. It says here, Mackley Green has suffered a severely cracked third metacarpal in his left hand. Woo! Of course, we can cancel the fight indefinitely if you're set on fighting Green. Hey, it ain't just Green. Now, you better find me another ranked contender, and I mean in a flash, Joe. In a flash. Hell, they know everybody in the world is going to see this fight, and none of them got a prayer with me. So they're making excuses so they don't have to be the chump to get whipped. To get whipped. You don't want to get whipped. Yo, know, boxers make money. A lot of money. I wonder why. This is the land of opportunity, right? Now. Even if you don't win, you make money. A lot. Gives a local underdog fighter an opportunity. A snow white underdog, and I'm going to put his face on this poster with me. That's the way I see it. That's the way it's going to be. Very American. It's very smart. <laughs> well, all right. And it's going to be Rocky. <laughs> I was about to say Sylvester. Wow, y'all. This is, I'm, I'm liking this so far. 
okay? This is my kind of movie. Who's this girl you're going out with tomorrow night? Dang. Huh? Don't you think I hear things? A lot of canaries flying around the town. He, kn he knows he. Jimmy told us you're shy, huh? Take it to the zoo. I hear retards like the zoo. Hey, this bum got to say that. All right, back it up, buddy. I'm back calling it you up. a bum. Okay. I'm calling you a bum. I don't like your face. I don't like your Z. Relax. Relax. My ears, what are you? I don't like yours either. <laughs> You and your girl, Adrian, you have a nice time, yeah? Thanks. Hey, how'd you know her name? You don't think I hear things? How is this man hearing things? Take her to the zoo. What the hell are you doing? Did they, they film this in Philadelphia, or was this like a Hollywood set? I wonder. Exactly what are you looking for, Apollo? This is what I'm looking for. Who? Allian Stout. Oh? Balboa? Never heard of him. Balboa. I tell you, Stout. I don't want you messing around with South Park. Not me, Creed. Ooh. Apollo Creed. It's the I tell you, Stout. He gonna lose, ain't he? Sounds like a damn monster movie. Is he gonna lose? Is he gonna beat up? Ooh, this about to get good. What kind of turkey? I'm a big turkey or a small I'm turkey? Guys all the time. Hey. Tell him I'm a good man and. Y'all, this is good. Okay. This is good. Like, I'm just my cheese. Like, this is so good. Why has it taken me so long to watch Rocky? Uh oh, she back over there. <laughs> Look, girl. Go home. Sister knows I'm coming for sure, right? She's very excited. Your sister, you sure your sister knows I'm coming? Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's very excited. No, she yeah. don't. Yo, how you doing? Oh, she's so awkward. She likes him. She likes him. She's just probably nervous. Why didn't you tell me you were bringing me here? I was taking you out. Of course, yeah. Oh. Leave her alone. Hey, I want you out of here instamatically. Instamatically. I don't think I've ever heard that word before. Try to be a loser. Not another victim. I got a turkey in the oven. No. Oh. Well, he's not about to throw it in a trash can. <gasps> Go in the alley and eat the bird. Oh. Hey, why he do that? 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 Hey, why he do he said, forget nothing. You want to go out with my sister? Yeah. No. Who will say Funny. Your jokes don't work on her. Yo, AJ, it's me, Rocky. I mean, what do I say to a broad day? Hey, <laughs> I know you ain't too happy at this moment, you know? Well, could you do me a favor? You know, I ain't got nobody to spend Thanksgiving with. Where's his family? I just thought about that. Maybe you and I, maybe we'd go out together, get something to eat. I don't know, maybe laugh a little bit. Who knows, you know? Oh. Thank you for the bird. Okay, girl. She was just like, let me go ahead and get away from my crazy brother. She probably has social anxiety. Hey, Drake, come on, you're letting the heat out. Who pays the bills around here? It's in there. I don't want no turkey in the oven. But it was Thanksgiving. It was what? It was Thanksgiving. <laughs> it was? Yo, it looks kind of quiet, you know? Cold. No, I think maybe we're just early or something like that. Yo! We're closed. Uh-uh. <laughs> This girl here ain't feeling well. You know, a doctor says she should go out and exercise once in a while. <laughs> nice game, cover the Shut up. Uh, I can see she ain't feeling too good. So if we could let her on the ice, I'd appreciate it. Even for a few minutes. Pretty good so you're going to walk on the skate. <laughs> I went ice skating when I was a kid. It was pretty fun. I want to go again. Stay with a drunk lady. She's on the South Park. What's the South Park? Oh, South Park. I was just about to ask it. South Park. Big days. That's the size of an airplane. I broke both my hands on the stage. I lost that fight. That's a nice picture, don't you think? <laughs> You having a good time? I'll tell you, you can see I ain't too graceful, you know what I mean? I don't move well. If 
This is the cutest. So far, the cutest. Maybe I shouldn't say this is the cutest movie, but it's. I guess this is cute. <laughs> My father, he's uh, he says to me, you weren't born much of a brain, you know, so uh, you better start using your body, right? So I become a fighter. Now my cheeks hurt. This is so cute. He said the opposite thing. He said you weren't born much of a body, so you better develop your brain. Aww. Can I ask you a question? Absolutely. Why do you want to fight? Because I can't sing or dance. E yo. This is so cute. I am loving this, y'all. I'm really enjoying this movie. You know, some hmm. people are very shy by nature. You know? I say you're very shy by nature. I suppose. I suppose. The bum from the dark. Get a job, you bum. Why can't you just be talking smack to folks? <laughs> we make a real sharp couple of talking. Like I'm dumb and you're shy. What do you think? Huh? Oh. Is that his way of asking her out? Chewing on his <gasps> Ew. Why do you do it if it hurts? Why do you think? No, yeah, why do you do it? Yes, you can't sing your dance? <laughs> hey, you want to come inside? Uh. No, I got you, you ain't gonna walk me home, hey, sir. I got some animals. I got these rare, very rare animals. You know? oh, I just gotta say, they did walk to his place. I gotta go. Look at this face. Is that a face you could dress or what? Huh? Come on. Morning. No, I gotta go. Uh, hmm. I like her character. Yo, Adrian, you hungry? I got some things in there. I got, uh, if you like uh, soda, some donuts, or something. What? This character is funny. Excuse me. Yo, Adrian. <laughs> Yo, Adrian. You know what I was telling you about? This is my friend, Cuffs and Link. I sold him to you. <laughs> Remember you were working at that pet shop, huh? First day you was there and I came in and bought both these animals, huh? When I bought the, uh, bought the animals themselves, the food, the marbles that go on the bottom. She like, I remember. Yo, why don't you come on over here and sit down? She like, I don't know. Sir. These, these your parents? Yeah, that's, that's both of them. Is this you? That's the Italian stallion when he was a baby. Do you have a phone? No, I ain't got no phone. I had a bull, you know, because people calling all the time. And uh, who needs the aggravation, right? Who'd you want to call? I want to let my brother know where I am. Well, I'll call your brother. That's the problem. Uh, so you do got a phone. Oh. <laughs> Yo, this dude is. <laughs> his character is hilarious. What's the problem? You don't like me? Uh, Sir. Okay. Well, I'm going to be here. She don't belong there. Um, no, you. He making me uncomfortable. <laughs> Sir, leave her alone. Let her go. Okay. Take off your vest. Mm -mm. Is this his like breakout? I wonder if this is his like breakout role. Or was he already like a famous actor? Why are you walking like that? <laughs> yeah, there was some guy here from Miles Jurgens looking for you. They need sparring partners for Apollo Creed. They're probably looking for sparring partners for Creed, you know? I said that before you, dumb dago. He is just so angry. After six years, six years <laughs> you've been sticking it to me. I want to know how come. You want to know? I want to know Because <laughs> you had the talent to become a good fighter. And instead. 
Instead of that, you became a leg breaker. To live in? It's a waste of life. Dang. Oh, you must be Mr. Rocky Balboa. The dirt is expecting you. Mr. Rocky Balboa to see you, sir. Just go in, Mr. <laughs> we can have that. I love how straightforward his character is. Rocky, I've got a proposition for you. Would you be interested in fighting Apollo Creed for the World Heavyweight Championship? Mm hmm. Me? <laughs> no. Oh, he said no. Apollo's seen you fight. He likes you. Like fighting clubs, you know. I'm really emanating with this guy. Picked you, Rocky. You were just a chance of a lifetime. Now you pass it by. Well. Well, just being in Philadelphia makes me feel patriotic. I love my Philadelphia brothers and I'm proud to be an American. Why did you agree to fight a man who has virtually no chance of winning? Ooh. American history proves that. Everybody's got a chance. And he gonna win. <laughs> but Rocky, how do you expect to fight Apollo Creed? Oh, geez, you know, Creed's the best. Now your payday will be $150,000. Uh oh, look at him. Thank you, Rocky. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Don't you think you're going to be able to do okay? Yo, Adrian, it's me, Rocky. Oh. Oh, that's cute. You should be looking for people to help you out. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You should be living a clean life. <laughs> hey, yo, Paul, who cared about me yesterday? I huh? know. <laughs> they told him it was death. Turns out he was wrong. I think Rocky's got a good chance. <laughs> <laughs> Want me to get you a beer, Paulie? Hey, you looking to do a good deed? Keep out of my freaking way! Dang. <laughs> You didn't say nothing, I'm sorry. That's right, you didn't say nothing! Nothing at all! <laughs> so he don't have no family? Not if you got any money for training expenses, huh? I got a few dollars. Put this in your glove. What's this? 500 bucks, don't worry about it. Mm -mm. He's alone. <sighs> hey, thanks for the money, Tom. Okay, don't worry about it. Thanks a lot. He gonna want his money, but do he he get one hundred and fifty thousand if he lose too? Don't it work like that? You gonna show up at the fight? Wait, son. Hey, hey. Tell what the old man got to say now. Wow, y'all, this is really good. Hello, kid. Uh oh. Oh, oh, oh. you nice. And what happened to you is free club. If you get a shot at the title, I sit down. Yes. Yeah, hell it all. The domestic turtle. The, the one on the top is cuffed, and the other guy is linked to the rest of the marble. Cuff link. <laughs> you like those, my pets. Uh oh. Be very careful about this shot that you got at the title. Well, what you need is a manager. I know because I've been in this racket for 50 years. I have done it all. The way that this man is talking, his voice. I got 21 stitches in his left eye. I got six surgeries. He don't care. Uh, you know what? I had my nose busted 17 times. Is he going to hire the girl brother? Huh? Uh, anyway. No, anyway. I want you to look at something. Look at that. Look at that. That's the way I look. It's nice. Yeah. I take very good care of the picture. When are people in their prom? Is it 21, 25, 30? Is it when you have, if you, not when you have money, but is it when you're at your healthiest, your, your good looking is? That's not a word. <laughs> but when are people in their prom? I mean, I got pain, I got experience too. I need your help 
about 10 years ago, right? 10 years ago. Dang. You never helped me. You didn't care. Well, if you wanted help. So he's just going to leave me in his house? Why didn't you just ask me? Because you were so mean. All right. You was, you was mean. You gave his locker away. Okay. You gotta be nice to folk. Treat people with kindness and respect. Everybody, don't matter who they are. You was so mean to him. Ten years to come to my house. I'm like my house. He still Oh he bad He been holding that in for 10 years Let it out Is he gonna let, it help, let him help him Oh Let him help you Oh Y'all Yo. Oh. He just needed to vent. Is that his daddy or his granddaddy? Are they related? Where his family at? Twenty-eight degree. Whew. Whoo. <laughs> 28 degrees. <laughs> you got a lot of nerve calling me this hour in the morning. <laughs> sure. Y'all, eggs probably was so cheap back then, y'all. Eggs was probably like a dollar, probably 50 cent up for 12 eggs, for a dozen of eggs. Now eggs is like, what, three, four dollars? Ew. That is so nasty. What does that do? Drinking eggs like that, what, is it, what does that do? Does that help you have more energy? What does it do? Now, don't get me wrong. I like a little sunny side up, but not straight raw egg. That is nasty. They had to be on like a set or a studio or somewhere. I wonder if this was in, if this was actually filmed in Philadelphia or in, in L.A. I think I said that. This is too good. This is so, I'm enjoying Rocky. This is good. The famous boxer run through the streets at the crack of dawn. Oh, he gonna have to get in shape. He about to pass out. Is you gonna hire him? Hey, you and my sister, how are you getting along together? How do you think? Uh, I'm not sure. You really like her? Sure I like her. I don't see it. What's the attraction? Those gaps, I guess. She's got gaps, I got gaps to get. <laughs> <gaps, huh? laughs> what? Hey, you don't talk dirty about your sister. It's getting cold in here. I think I'm going home. Cold in here? It's cold in here! They burned your sister! <laughs> Yo. This man is angry. Uh oh. You're breaking the ribs. Okay, so did he do that? Like, you better chill. <laughs> I don't know. If that was funny. 
Yo, what? What? Yo, what? What is wrong with this guy? You know, your brother's a good man, but he's all pushy, you know? Hey, hey, come on, no fooling around, all right? Excuse me, I'm serious now. There's no fooling around during training, you understand? I want to stay strong. You sure? Yeah, I'm sure. Listen, why don't you just make some meat, okay? Okay, I'll make some meat. Hmm. He really cares about her. Hold it, Rock, will you? You drive me crazy as a sloppy because you're off balance. Rock. What? How about you give us your order? Get out of here! Don't you ever interrupt me while I'm conducting business. <laughs> Shut up! Women do not do not play with him. Yo, the way he just snapped at them women, them girls. Yo, you look uh oh. Oh yeah, we walked down the street breaking hearts the way you're looking, very sharp. I got, I got another surprise for you. Hey, Bunkins! Hey, Bunkins! To keep you company when you run. The owner never come back. Oh. Boy, do I want him? Oh, that's so cute. I cannot stop. You got neat exposure. Oh, come on. Don't breathe on me, bro. That's huh? the big time. I just want to. Don't I know about these? <laughs> boy, this supposed to be private. Hey, I'm doing you a favor. You ain't doing me no favors. You're embarrassing me in front of everybody. <laughs> the way he be yelling at people. Don't do that. <laughs> Don't do that. The next heavyweight champion of the world, Rocky Bubba! <laughs> Look how he walking up in there, though. Interview went with you, won't they, What about me? What about you? Oh. Uh, fine, would you stand behind it, please? Listen. Oh. What we're going to do is just ask you a few questions, Rocky. Just a few questions about your unique training method. Today, we're here with heavyweight challenger, Rocky Balboa. The reason we're standing in hey, this... Hey, meat guy sticking his face in. <laughs> Shut up. Hey, we're here with heavyweight challenger Rocky Balboa. Mr. Balboa has an unusual method of training. Rocky, how did you come to come train in an ice box? My friend, the guy over there, he let me in one day and I hit the beach here and I kind of like it. Would you Don't give us a demonstration? Confirm the reservation yeah. of the people of Greensburg and be sure to fly my barber to <coughs> Uh oh. Hey, champ. Gotta come look at this boy you're gonna fight on TV. Mm -hmm. Like he means business. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, he gonna win. Uh oh. Diana Lloyd in the meat house with Rocky Balboa. Ooh, what? Ooh. Uh-oh. I don't want nothing from you. Get out of my house. You left this your house. Fuck you, get out of my house. He said he don't care. I don't want you messing, love. And I don't raise you to go with this scumbub. I'll break both your arms so they don't work for you. Oh. Oh. Hey, now when you walk in 
Oh, you not. So Your legs gonna be weak, sir. Hey, oh, Rock. I want you to meet our cut man here, Al Savani. We got a winner here. We got a chance. Now he goes to the party like nobody you've ever seen. Hey, Rock. It's okay I talk to you? Okay, you talk to me. Sure. Hey, you can make money off my name, make it, okay? I'm gonna take a shot. Hey, wanna help me open these? Uh, <laughs> they friends again, just like that. Yo, this is too good. This is so good. Mm. I want to start working out again, y'all. I used to work out before I became somebody's mom. And I really miss it. I just want to run on somebody's treadmill for about... 10 minutes. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. But I do miss going to the gym. He way, way, way better than when he first started that first morning. How did I know he was going to put his arms up? I love it. Yo. I love this. I just love the nostalgia shot choices and just everything. Y'all, is he going to win? He's going to win. I know he is. Because the dude over there chilling, he... Asking for coffee, doing all X, Y, Z, sending flowers to the mayor. And he is really training. Rocky is really training. Jervis, the post is wrong. While wearing white pants with a red stripe. It doesn't really matter, does it? Sure you're going to give us a great show. Try to get some rest, kid. The fact that he calling him kid and he's 30. <laughs> that makes me feel young. I just want to know where's his family. I can't see you. I can't see you. Oh man. Me and my kid, we need him to guide me. There ain't nobody to see. It really don't matter if I lose this fight. It really don't matter if this guy opens my head either. All I want to do is let it be. Yeah, and that bell ring when I was still standing. Well, I know for a certain point in my life. Hmm. All right, it's time. Y'all, is he going to win? I got to sit up. I got to sit up. Now I got to go back and look at Creed because... I don't remember if he said he beat his dad or not. I, honestly, I don't remember. I'll wait for you here. Well, how about I wait here and you fight? Uh. <laughs> Looking very great today, you know that? I gotta go now, but uh, don't you leave town, huh? Hey, Adrian, you don't think this robe is too baggy, huh? Good luck. Don't leave town. <laughs> she not gonna watch the fight? I trained you to be a fighter and not a billboard. Doing it for a friend. If only gets three grand, I get the rope. I like how they make up super fast. Like, they don't hold on to no grudges. I love that. They forgive. A 50 to 1 underdog living a Cinderella story, and he's captured people's imaginations all over the world. That's so crazy because at the beginning, they was calling him a loser. They didn't like him. Climbing into the ring now, the Italian stallion. What? This is so extra. Why do people do that? Even now, people come out with rappers and just be doing the most. It's extra. I feel like boxing matches be like 
It don't take long for a match. Like, it be over real quick. Is he talking to me? <laughs> Yo. So this is a, a real, actual, real fighter, right? In real life, he was. Uh, you next, Joe. This probably was a big deal when it came out. I know it was. I know this was a big movie. I've never seen a fighter that concerned about his hair. <laughs> yo, yo. I never know how they how they determine who's the winner. My dog is drinking water. And he just the champ is just taunting him now. Reed dancing around. Oh, I, I don't believe this. The champ is down. Yep. Reed is down. What a surprise this is. That's the only thing, y'all. I did not see no punch connect. Now Rocky coming back out, and he's like a bull in a china closet. He really wants to hollow left of the head. Are they hitting each other for real, or are they acting hitting? That's the only thing. Okay, he's hitting them for real. So how do they determine in real life and boxing who wins? Because I've seen somebody punch on somebody, and they lost. And I'll be so confused. <laughs> I know if you fall and you completely get knocked out, obviously you lose, but Rocky's got him on the level. <laughs> it can be like a really good fight and both of them getting really good hits and then I don't know. I don't know. Like do they count the uppercuts or if the punches connect? Oh, Oh, that probably was a hit. Oh, his nose broke. Oh, 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 he said, put that chump back in. Come on, Chris. Woo. Put that chump back in his corner. Mm. Ooh, he give it. He, he, he fighting. What is the 14? I thought it was 12 rounds. It's 14. Ooh. Stay up. Ooh, my goodness, who's going to win? Yo. Yo. Ooh. He's just staying out. Is he gonna get up when he see her? Yo. 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 Yeah. He like, man. <laughs> he gonna hit him. He gonna get him. Ooh. Oh, is it broke? Is his ribs broke? Okay, champ. Got him all clear, I'm all clear. <laughs> oh. I can't see nothing, gotta open my eye. Come here, Mick. I don't wanna do it. Oh, come here. Oh, ah! 
stop. Oh my goodness, that was so nasty. Shut up. Shut up. Stop. Yo, what? You didn't even want to go. <laughs> what? Who is gonna win? Oh, look at it. They look like they've been in a war, these two. Goodness. Is it tits? And a final clearly protecting his right side, his ribs. <laughs> yo, yo. Ah! Oh my goodness. Ah! Ooh. Who won? Who won? Who won? Who won? Adrian! <laughs> so it was a draw? <laughs> what? Oh, man. Stop. Stop. Stop it. <laughs> Yo, what? Oh, my goodness. Okay. Let me just say, this movie was so cute. I mean, I know y'all gonna be like, now Desiree, no, you didn't just call Rocky, the Rocky, the movie cute. But I, the ending was just so cute. That, yo, Sylvester Stallone, he did an awesome job writing it. He did awesome. He did really good. This, I did not think, I did not think that I was going to enjoy this movie like this. But my cheeks are hurting. It was super cute. It was this, it was super cute. It was really, it was a good movie. I really enjoyed this movie. Like, y'all know I work late, and I say this all the time. I work late when I put my baby to bed. Not sleepy at all. This was so cute, and I truly look forward, truly look forward by the grace of God. I look forward to watching the next one. This was so good. Now I don't know the last time um, that. I don't even remember when I watched Creed. I did watch the new one. I, when did that come out? Like two years ago? Um, but I watched the first Creed so long ago. I don't even remember. I do need to go back and rewatch Creed. But I want to watch rewatch Creed when I watch all of the Rockies. Because I don't, you know, I, I don't know. I, I just, I want to connect the dots when I watch it. I, I do, rem like I said, I do remember the one that just came out with, um, yeah, I can't even remember his name. The guy that, that dates Megan Goods, I forget his name. But I do re kind of remember that, but I don't remember the first couple of Creeds. So, like I said, I didn't remember if his dad won or not. But I don't know. This was so good. This was so, this was, if I can rate this, I rate this five stars across the board. I loved it. I bet you this movie was so big when it came out in, in the 70s. Like, this was really good. I wonder if this was uh, Sylvester Stallone's um, first role, like, acting de debut. I don't know. How old is Sylvester Stallone? Let me see. He's 77 years old. And I said that because the picture popped up. He looks super old. That's crazy. And that's how you know a movie is good when you just want to go. Or not just a movie, but that's how you know when a movie and a show is good when you just want to go and look up all the characters and see what they doing and how and they still living how they doing how old they are like you want to know what else they've been in that's how you know a movie or a tv show was good and now i want to go look up all the all the characters like i think i'm gonna do that i'm gonna do that after this i need to do it i need to go to bed actually because i gotta get up but yeah this was good y'all i am really happy that like 
y'all got good taste y'all do y'all got some good taste so um yeah that's all i got to say about this i this this movie made me feel really good inside you know i i I'm, I leave this movie, fi- I don't know, y'all, I'm, I'm ranting right now, <laughs> but, um, yeah, this was really, only thing I can say is this is really good, I give it five stars, I look forward to watching the next Rocky, and, uh, cause they said, they kept saying it ain't gonna be no rematch, so I kind of feel like it's gonna be a rematch with them, and, uh, yeah, this was so good. Like everything about it was real good. And it was the nostalgia of it all. Just, I even really enjoyed the writing. I want to learn more about Rocky's character. Like where's his family? Um, I want to know more about him and Adrian's relationship. Like this was so good. And this movie was like almost two hours long. Y'all, I don't even feel like it. Like I kept looking at the clock and I'm like, is it about to be over? It, I'm like, how is this going to end? How they're going to end this? Like, when is the fight? I don't know, y'all. This was just good. It was, that's all I can say. It was good. It was really, really good. I really, really enjoyed this movie. But let me stop ranting because it's about to be 2 o'clock in the morning. And I need to go ahead and go into bed. So make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know if you, well, obviously you've, got, you've seen Rocky if you're watching this reaction. But let me know uh, which Rocky is your favorite comment some more old old 70 movies nostalgic movies y'all know those are my favorites the war movies is my favorites um yeah and let's let's chit chat in the comments about this movie what do you what when you first saw this movie what were your thoughts your initial thoughts um did you think it was good did you rate it five stars make sure you guys like and comment because it it helps push my video out so make sure you're um, cause a lot of people are watching my videos, but not a lot of people are liking them. Maybe y'all really just don't like the video. I don't know. But if you do like this video, please consider liking, actually liking it. And also consider subscribing if you like, um, my content, if you like my reactions, I'm trying to get to 50 K before the year is out by the grace of God. So I'm relaunching my Patreon. It should be already up once this video is posted. So the link is in the description box. Make sure you guys go and support me. I would really, truly love that. Y'all know I'm a stay-at-home mom. And this helps with editors. This helps with my editing team, my thumbnails. Um, this is my job. So if you would like to support the channel, donate. You can donate to the channel. You can give a dollar. Uh, I think I want to have I th uh, the tiers are a dollar, three dollars, and ten dollars. So, whatever you decide to give out of the kindness of your heart is 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 a blessing for me because, like I said, it helps with um, it helps me continue to be able to make content for you guys because this is not easy and this is not cheap. I do have to go. Well, I ain't gonna say it's not cheap because it is cheap, but it's not free. I'll say that this is not free. I do have to buy these movies and yeah, I have to pay my editors, um, pay, I, I edit my videos, but I have to pay for my thumbnails and stuff like that. So whatever you can, um, if you just want to donate one time, that's awesome. Or if you just want to head over there, I do want to have some Patreon exclusive reactions that probably won't be on YouTube because y'all know YouTube is a little strict. So a lot of stuff I can't post over here so i do want to do patreon exclusive reactions and lives and patreon exclusive polls i don't know drop in the comments whatever else you would like to see over there but yeah go over there and support me that would really really mean a lot to me and yeah i'm gonna go ahead and get on out of here um i love you god loves you more and you guys have an amazing night